Hi, welcome to learnhowtogarden.com. On today's episode on the 10 Minute Gardener, we're going to be talking about how to start off or sow courgettes, pumpkins or squash. If you're not already subscribed to us at Learn How to Garden, there's a link directly below this film. Click on that, input your email address, and that means every time we put up a new film, we can let you know. It also means you get access to films that only appear on the website, our free monthly newsletter, and it also lets you see what courses or seminars we're running this year. Sowing and growing courgettes and squash pumpkins could not be easier. They are fantastic because they give you a great return. The pumpkins themselves, some of them will last well into next year if you ripen them properly. They're much, much tastier, I believe, some of these varieties I'm going to talk about, than the average butternut squash that you buy in your supermarket. First thing you need to remember is you don't need to sow these too early. They don't really need to be going out into the ground in the UK until the first week in June when we've got a soil temperature of 12 degrees or above. Much better to sow them slightly later and keep them happy by having that warm temperature. And all you need to do to sow them is take a small three inch pot, fill it with decent multi-purpose compost, take the seeds of whatever varieties of courgette or pumpkin you've decided to sow and I only ever sow one per pot because if they don't germinate the amount of compost is minimal compared to the disturbance you get by pulling them out. They're quite large seeds, we've all seen pumpkin seeds, hold them end on and insert it into your compost the same depth as the seed which is a good rule of thumb for any seed and then tap it to cover it. Water that well and then I stand mine on a heat mat in a cold greenhouse at 60 degrees but they would germinate just as happily on a kitchen windowsill. The, the minute they've germinated get them into a conservatory or a cool greenhouse because what you want to avoid is this problem that I bought this one earlier today to show you. This is called elitation when the actual plant itself is grown too warm with not enough light and it starts to elongate. And with squash or with your pumpkins or your courgettes, that stem there is manna from heaven for slugs and snails. They will devastate these. Once you've got your small plants, <coughs> the easiest way I find to grow it is on top of your compost heap. Just make a mound of decent multi-purpose compost on your compost heap and you can plant straight into that. Uh, my mother actually plants hers through an old tyre and there's a film which I um, on the website which there's a link to which is how she does it. Or they work wonderfully in a no-dig bale bed where you construct a bed using some straw bales, fill it with um, <coughs> compost and cardboard and you plant into that and that's how I grow them on my allotment. As far as varieties if you've ever been to Italy and had those exquisite stuffed courgette flowers, then the variety da Floria is absolutely wonderful. My favourite courgette by far is Ragusta. It doesn't look like a classic courgette. Slightly thicker skin and a beautiful, elegant, nutty taste. That is my recommendation. And if you're going to grow one pumpkin, this is Mariana de Chioggia. It's uh, what it actually means is it comes from the island uh, north of Venice where they grow a lot of the food uh, for Venice. It's a Venetian variety. It, it's a beautiful knobbly skin and the taste uh, once it's matured through the winter uh, makes most of those butternuts and things that you've ever tasted seem sort of you know pale and insignificant in comparison. When you plant it out a couple of things to remember. It needs moisture but it doesn't want to be soaking wet all the time and when you water, water around the plant, don't water over the top of it. Try and keep the foliage quite dry and you water all the way around it and don't soak the connection between the plant here and the soil because you can get rot off at that point on the soil. Those are my recommendations for the varieties that I grow but I have grown some of the other ones also from Seeds of Italy and any of them will taste significantly different to what you buy. If you're new to veg growing it's one of the easiest veg to grow. You can grow it quite happily in your flower border especially the courgettes which have these stupendous big yellow flowers that we've seen. I highly recommend trying it 
and I think you won't be disappointed.